Welcome to the match preview, Everton versus Burnley, Carabao Cup, fourth round, Goodison Park, Wednesday the 1st of November, 7.45 kickoff, joined by Dave Witts from the County Road Bobblers. Dave, big, tough game, tough mm -hmm. game, but an opportune, big opportunity for Everton <clears throat> to get to a quarter final in the Carabao Cup, which would be a big thing for us. Absolutely. <clears throat> the Carabao Cup's always been a bit of a sticking point, hasn't it, whether it's the Worthington Cup or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, but it has been a bit of a sticking point, and, mm. and so is the home form. Um, so, you know, for, for, for them two reasons, you know, Wednesday represents a really good opportunity for us to, yeah, firstly get in the quarter final, but also go there and, and get a professional winner home. Um, mm. It would be nothing better to be stood in the concourse at half time talking to your mates and, and we're 2 0 up and you know we're looking professional. It's a polished performance. Mm. And I think you know we're coming into this game with a good base after you know a really strong performance on the road. Um, so it's about converting that now, isn't it, into, into the home games. And we're not going to get many better opportunities, I don't think, than Wednesday. Um, and a bit of a precursor ahead of Brighton as well. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's four victories in the last six games for Everton, mm. which is the best run of form we've had for a while. Uh, we had a great win at Aston Villa in the last round and won our last home game 3-0 against Bournemouth, obviously, in the Premier League. And this is a... Although it'll be a tough game and Burnley will come and have a, a good go and, and they'll, you know, we'll have to play well to beat them because we can't... We don't take anything for granted. A good yeah. do we? With, with them, we don't take anything for granted anywhere at the moment. We can't. But it does give us an opportunity to, to build on that Bournemouth game and... For too long, Dave Goodison's been just not happy for us. It's mm. it, you know we've struggled to win home games because we haven't had a way of playing. Where I think the manager is trying to get us a way of playing now. And Vincent Company's gone into Burnley and he's he's changed their perception. Funnily, from Sean Dyche's Burnley, he's changed them into a more attacking side. But there is gaps in that side because of the way they play. There'll be opportunities for Everton to get at them and and hopefully get a good result. It, it, it's ironic, isn't it, that I'd actually prefer to play, you know, a Burnley side under company. I think, um, mm. you know, a Deitch Burnley side would probably be a lot more apprehensive mm. um, ahead of Wednesday. But yeah, no, I think absolutely. You know, I think you know, similar to what we see with uh, Arioldas Bournemouth, where mm. they were trying to play out out the back, got caught a couple of times. Mm. You know, I think Sean Deitch has got to be looking at that and, and almost using that same blueprint to mm. say, you know, let let's be on the front foot you know, setting them traps, you know, and that, and that, that closing down high up the field is going to be key, you mm -hmm. know, and if we can get an early goal, settle the nerves, I think that, you know, the, it would be nice really to put Burnley away and I think the opportunities are there, you know, Burnley could make a few changes, um, you know, and it, it might be a good opportunity to get a bit of confidence for, for Beto as well if he, if he does get into the side and, mm -hmm. and Deitch does rotate that forward line. What do you think he'll do? Because obviously <clears throat> when you look at this one, it is a, it's a tough game. There's no doubt about it. Premier League opposition. Everton, uh, uh, like we've just said, they've won four of the last six, so they're in a, they're in a good moment, as they say. Um, it, the ten, we've come unstuck in this competition in the past by making wholesale changes, yeah. looking at a home game. And, th and, and it might be with a little bit of... At times, I think it has been with a bit of arrogance. And yeah. we've come unstuck. I remember... Ronald Koeman making like 10 changes against Norwich and Norwich come and beat us 2-0 and, and we're by far the better side, by the way. Um, I think so. I think, what's your version of, of a good side on Wednesday? Is it as close to str full strength as possible or do you want to see maybe four or five changes? I think we. I'd like to see the, the core part of that side as in Jordan Pickford's and our, our, our central spine, you know, the two centre-halves, two centre-mids to stay in the side. Mm. You know, I think if you set it up like that, you know, I think you, you can then make changes around the peripheries, but I don't mm. want to see more than, I'd say, three changes. You right. know, I think, you know, it, the ideal situation is we get better scoring goals and confidence, you know, mm. and you've then got a great kind of, um, you know, a great foundation to go into the, you know, the Premier League games with two strikers on it. Yeah. Um. So I think, yeah, definitely get better into the sides. Dan Juma, I'd be, you know, I'd be having a word with him this week, sitting him down saying, mm. look, you know, you, you if you want to be playing, this is your opportunity now. Yeah. You know, I want to see, you know, a, a performance. Performance, yeah. You know, a, a goal assist, you know, I want to see an output from you. Mm. So, we, you know, I'd, I'd get Dan Juman into the sides. Harrison, I'd say, needs uh, minutes still on his legs. Yeah. So I'd just, you know... Leave give, him where he is. Yeah. Leave him where he is. Um, obviously, the question marks about Coleman, where is he at the moment? Mm. 
you know, is he up to speed? Um, but look, Patterson's just had a, a good game the other uh, yesterday. So mm. leave, leave Patterson in. You know, yeah. give him eighty minutes or seventy minutes. Um, so yeah, a strong side for me. Um, let, let let's hope that Beto can come in, get a couple of goals. Um, and just put them to bed. You know, too often in this competition, as you say, we've made them wholesale changes and. I don't like doing it that way because you always end up bringing the players on anyway, Coles, into yeah. the game, yeah. and you're chasing it. I remember we, you know, I think it was Millwall when we played them, and he wanted to rest a Kure, and next minute you bring him on. You know, I think we went to extra time, didn't we? Mm. He ended up playing nearly 90 Rotherham, minutes. I think that yeah, was, but yeah, Rotherham, yeah, yeah. He, ended, he, ended, up. he nearly ended up playing 90 minutes anyway. Yeah, yeah. So just get the game won mm. and then rotate it, you know what I mean? You've got to show ultimate respect a bit because they yeah. deserve it. They're a Premier League team anyway. So you want a trophy as well. They deserve the respect. You so want a trophy to open. Exactly. You know so you've so. got to show that team all the respect in the world and go out and, and treat it as the biggest game of the season. You've got to. Yeah. I know people might go, well, the league's more important. And, and I wouldn't massively disagree but this is a great opportunity to get into the quarter final every round we progress and if we get home games the position haven't they in financially we need all the money we can get really we need to progress prize money gate receipts we need it all because we're not in a great position financially so this is a big game for Everton um, let's have a look at the Everton side from the weekend and that we just talked about that but this is the team that for Burnley fans who are watching that Everton went with at West Ham. Uh, Pickford in goal, Patterson, Tarkovsky, Branthwaite, Michalenko, Harrison, Garner, Amadou Onana, Dwight McNeil, Decore, and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Like you've just said, David, I think maybe Beto coming in for Dom. Um, maybe Dan Juma getting a go off the left instead of Dwight McNeil, but McNeil there with ready to come on. Um, I wonder if he'll rest Decore when he played Decore. Interesting one, that one. Interesting it's, one. It's momentum as well, isn't it? You know, you, yeah. anyone you know, you've been in a in a you know a, a dressing room for side, mm. you want to keep winning. You yeah. want that feel good mm. fact. You don't yeah, want to yeah. be derailed by a you know a one nil defeat at mm. home. You and know, get our home form right. Our yeah. home, we've won one home game all season. Definitely, and yeah. look, we are closing in on on the last days. You know, we've seen the speakers getting installed today at, at Bramley Moor. Yeah, you know, true. in the the last of the roof mm. has been completed as well. Um, we're not going to have many more cup games left at Goodison Park, mm. so give the fans something to to be you know electric about. Make mm. good, you know, it's a night game. Get that feel good factor. Get the fans up for it, you know. And I think it's an opportunity to get a good atmosphere there. Um, you know, you want to remember these nights. You know, yeah. you want to give us good memories uh, to to finish. Oh God, you know yeah. the, the the last few days at Goodison Park. So yeah, no, I think there's there's a there's a million and one reasons why we've got we've got to go out with strong sides and mm. and actually get the win there as well. Absolutely. This is the Burnley side that were beaten uh, 2-1 at Bournemouth at the weekend. Uh, James Trafford in goal, Vettino, O'Shea, uh, Aldaki, Charlie Taylor, who scored a cracker, uh, Josh Brownwell, you know about him, uh, Josh Cullen, Johan Goodenson, uh, Kalatio, uh, Zeki up front, Amduan, who's a good player, Zaruri, who's a good <coughs> player as well. Like we said, we're not sure whether or not Vincent Company will make changes with that one player who wasn't available at the weekend but may well be available for this one is Lyle Foster. Let's have a look at him. He's a, He's been a live wire for Burnley so far. He's played eight games and got three goals. His XG of 1.55, so he's overperforming his XG. He averages around 1.4 shots per game and his XA is 0.48. And this heat map is basically he's everywhere. <laughs> so he is a... Uh, uh, he is a live wire for Burnley and someone who we'll have to keep an eye out for if he is available or not, whether company wants to make sure he's available at the weekend for them. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. And that's the thing with the Carabao Cup is you don't you don't know whether Vince and company are looking go, well, I've got a squad of players and lads need to play so they're ready for the Premier League. Mm. Or whether he thinks we'll go as close to strong as possible and try to get a result. We just we just don't know what which one we're gonna face, do we? No, we don't, and I think the key is actually in the, in the way that Burnley play. Mm. That will be the you know the defining factor on on, on mm. the result of the game because do you play know, nice football, don't they? They do. They're gonna they're gonna come out and try and attack. Mm. Um, you know, and that that will suit Everton. You know, yeah. and I think that's you know a big part of our success on the road has been because we were prepared to to take teams on the counter. Mm. Uh, so they're not going to be a team that, that 
sets up well i'll say this you know company might have a change of heart all of a sudden but doesn't you know, seem to be does the it? evidence so far yeah suggests that they're going to come out and try and play a certain style of football yeah um you know and i think that'll suit us down down to the ground there'll be a few players there that tight will be well aware of you mm. know he, he inside knowledge does help doesn't it you know when you're looking at how he, he's going to set the Everton side up um so yeah <laughs> look if we can't beat burnley at home in the cup then you know we don't deserve to be in that that, that cup at all. Yeah. You've got to go there, not not just win, but I want to see a professional win. You know, yeah. two two free goals, put them to bed, and try and get a clean sheet as well. Yeah. You know, I'd be saying to them, you know, the, the team as well. We want a clean sheet, mm. not just a win. We want a clean sheet. Absolutely, it's going to be a tough game, like I said. But I've Everton at home. You've got to <clears> fancy <throat> us. We've got to get our home form up to speed. If we do that, then we can start looking up the table and not down. I know this is a cup game. Gives Everton, if they could get past Burnley, gives them a great opportunity. Quarter final of the Carabao Cup, we get a decent home tie in that one, then who knows. But uh, first things first, got to get over Burnley on Wednesday. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. How strong should Everton go in this one, or, or should the manager make changes? Um, and what are your score predictions? Let us know. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Big thanks to Dave. Check out the County Road Bobblers. That, uh, the podcast Dave does to so give that a listen as well and uh, we will see you later take it easy